Yeah, so this is a video. Um, we're gonna show you how to remove uh, gears uh, on motor buffang. So you remove the cassette like, like that first. Um, with using two like this one over here. The next step is to uh, remove the metal lid. So you just uh, remove it gently from the rim. The metal lid, it works like that, so there is a uh, one magnet sensor which uh, helps to determine uh, uh, the speed uh, of, the, uh, of the rotation of the motor. So, so that magnet, uh, it should be here all the time. Uh, and this is how the motor works. So uh, it is like, uh, so uh, uh, for example, this one is uh, the pedal assist uh, uh, chip which helps to determine the the speed the next step is uh, to remove uh, the nut from the other side of the wheel where the disc brake is so you unscrew that one so once you remove the nut the next step is to uh, remove the motor uh, out of the hub. So what you do is uh, you just push the axle uh, on the opposite way. You can use hammer if necessary, but not uh, not like very hard. Just gentle, and then the motor should be able to pull out. So that's how the buffang motor works. This is the hub inside and uh, we're going to replace the gears of this particular motor uh, so when you remove uh, the motor like that just pay attention at the uh, axle key which is located over here uh, so that axle key helps uh, the two pieces uh, to stay aligned so when you take out the gears just make sure uh, you don't lose uh, that axle key over here uh, okay so now we're going to show you how to detach the gears from the motor you need uh, to smash, smash it like, like that until the gears got detached okay so this is the gears and this is uh, the motor and this is the axle key so okay so just make sure to put that in place when you put the gears back on the motor. So, okay, so this is the location of the axle key. Okay, here it is. So here is uh, the new gear set. It works like that, so you just put it back in place. So you tap uh, the gears uh, gently until uh, until they they get all the way uh, inside the axle and there is no there is no much gap over here. So you keep tapping until they go all the way in. Uh, it's good idea to add. Uh, to add some grease on the gears because they come like a brand new so we use a multi-purpose uh, uh, grease normally available at a home depot or a canadian tire so you just apply some gently over here
You can put also some uh, some inside uh, the hub. Next step is uh, to put the whole motor inside the hub. So you push it like that. Okay, so now it's all good. So both sides are okay. So now you put the nut back in place. So you, you screw it all the way in. It doesn't need to be very tight. Just like that it's, it's more than enough. So this is uh, the metal lid. So you just put it back the same way. Okay, so you align it and then you put uh, all the screws back in place. So when you put back uh, the cassette, uh, just make sure uh, uh, to put that ring uh, back in place. So that ring uh, stays between um, uh, the cassette and uh, uh, the hub. So this is... Uh, the cassette so you put it back in place and then using uh, this tool uh, you can tighten up uh, the cassette okay so you tighten it up like that And uh, yeah, so after you're done, the wheel should work uh, like that. So this side and also the other side, it is ready for uh, mounting uh, on the bike. Uh, also here, I'm going to show you uh, the washers, uh, how they have to be put back on the axle. So that small washer goes, uh, goes first. Okay, so the next one is... Uh, a washer on the on the other side so here it is so I'm, I'm gonna show you the order so you put this one first those are, are like spacers so you put another one and then you put that small one okay so that's how it works uh, uh, on the side of the brakes it works like that and on, on the other side it is just like that